Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and this video is more of an extension of a previous video that I made and it was named how to use notifications or something like that but in this video I'm going to show you how you can add answer alternatives or response alternatives to your notifications so that you can actually ask your user for a certain action or an answer. So if that is something you want to know how to add to your notification then just keep watching this video and I will show you how. So in this video we are going to continue on a previous project that we made in a previous video and if you want to get this template that I'm now going to con continue on from just search up my video how to create a notification or how to work with notifications something like that uh, but at least there will be a link in the description where you can download this project file from. Now all we have done if you're new all we have done is we have created notification so we have created the notification and we have um, done so that it displays after five seconds and then here down here we have just asked for permission to display notification so do you want to allow notifications so basically that message we have displayed to the user and then we have created the notification in this video we are going to take it one step further and we are going to add um, answer options to these notifications so we can we can basically make a small quiz made out of notifications but right now I'm just going to display a question with two answer alternatives and then I'm going to check if the user answers answers correctly or incorrectly so the first step is to add a UN user notification center delegate that's the first step then we're going to create the answer alternatives. So we're going to create a constant named answer one, which is going to be a UN notification action. And it's going to have an identifier of uh, answer one. The title of the option is going to be, so first we have to figure out the question, what's, what it's going to be. And I'm just going to say uh, how many days are there in one year as, as a subtitle I'm just going to say do you know you don't need all of these but just so you know that you have the option and then do you really know just like that then the first answer is going to be 365 and the options here is going to be dot foreground so how we want to, uh, the notification to be displayed and we just are going to set the foreground which is pretty more pretty pretty much the default option then we're going to just copy this one so that we can create an answer number two and here the identifier is going to be answer two and the title is going to be 340. Uh, so here are my two answer alternatives and then I have to put them both into a category and that's pretty simple we just say let category is equal to you and notification category and the identifier of this category is going to be my category then actions are going to be my two actions so these I named answer one and answer two identifiers is uh, we really don't need this so just empty brackets and also here empty brackets so now we have created the two answer alternatives and then we have added them together into one uh, single group or category and now we are going to set that uh, category for our uh, we're going to connect the categories so the, so the answer alternatives to our notification and the way we do that is we say content dot category identifier is equal to the one the uh, the identifier that you gave your category which in my case was my category and then we also have to add this category to our um, UN notification center uh, just like we did here we added the notification now we have to add the answer alternatives to that center as well the way we do that is we simply say un notification center not category but center let's see un user notification center this one 
and then we say dot current dot set uh, category no not set category but set notification let's see set notification categories and our category is you just have to have them in these brackets as uh, you can add multiple categories but in this case it's just category the one we defined make sure that it's the one with a small c not a capital c because then you will get something else then we need one more thing before we head on so now um, our uh, notification should be displayed with the answer alternatives but we need one more thing and that is going to happen down here so now we have the answers the notification it is displaying with the answers and we can actually check that out just to make sure that everything is working so i'm clicking my button i'm heading or closing the application and then as you will see i'm going to get a notification and when i drag drag it down i have the answer alternatives now i can click on this one but even though I click on that one, I really don't get a response of whether that was the correct answer or not. So I'm going to do some things in order to check which answer, uh, which, which um, answer the user tapped on. Now, in order to do that, we are going to need another function, which we're going to create down here. So we're going to say, or not create, but use. So this is our user notification center, and we're going to use dead receive response. So this one is going to help us check which response we did get. So we're going to say if response dot action identifier. And if that was equal to answer one, let's see, answer one, which was the identifier I gave it up here. If it's equal to answer one, then I'm going to print correct. If he didn't answer that one, then I'm going to print false, false. So now we can check based on which button or alternative the user tapped on, we can check if he answered correctly or not. But there's one more thing that we have to do and before we jump ahead and launch it, and that is to set the delegate. So we're just going to say UN user notification center dot current dot delegate is equal to self and now when we launch it everything should work and then when i click on the correct answer i should be presented with uh this string right here printed in my console so i am going to click the button i'm going to click the home button then i am going to wait five seconds and then i'm going to drag it down i'm going to press the correct answer 300 365 and now it should have printed correct, which it did. So as you can see, we still have a small little error here or a warning. And all you need to do in order to remove that is simply say completion handler and just like that. And if I now launch it, and I can also test now to answer incorrectly in order to check if that also works. But now that warning should be gone. Uh, let's see if it is. So I'm going to click the button one more time, click the home button. I'm going to wait and then I am going to drag it down, press 340 and now when I go back I have false and I didn't get the warning either. So if you enjoyed this video make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. Also make sure that you like this video if you did enjoy it or it helped you out in any way shape or form and then I am going to look forward to seeing you in the next video.